So I've covered a few stylish pieces that have a military background such as a bomber jacket and cargo pants. But today I'm going to cover the classiest of them all and that is the trench coat. Let's go. What's up my YouTube friends? Welcome to today's video. My name is Richard from Assemble Style. And if you're new here, welcome. In this channel, we cover everything from men's fashion, lifestyle, and just self-improvement overall. So if you're interested in that, please make sure to subscribe. And for my returning subs, guys, welcome back. You guys, I, I, you guys know I love hearing from you guys, so make sure to comment and like this video as well. So let's get into it. So I don't know about you guys, but when I first got introduced to the trench coat, I was really, really, really young. You see, I loved watching the Ninja Turtles when I was a kid, and I would always see them rocking their trench coats when they were out in public, you know, to use as a disguise. And when the real life movie came out, and then when I, you know, I first saw Raphael rocking one, I added that damn thing into my Santa's wish list. And it was difficult to find a child sized trench coat back in those days. I think it still probably is, but now that I'm fully grown and can fit in one, I can finally live my childhood fantasy. Another dude that rocked the trench coat well was Inspector Gadget, but eh, Inspector Gadget was all right, but TMNT, way cooler. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the trench coat, simply put, it's just a three quarter length coat that is just designed to protect you from the rain and any grime out there in the streets. It's stylish, it's functional, it's lightweight, and it's a perfect piece to wear when you are out commuting, you know, somewhere that's, you know, very cold and, you know, rainy. Now there are many ways to wear a trench coat and you guys know how I always do it in this channel. I'm gonna cover a range of looks going from the most dressed up all the way to the most casual. So let's start it off by being suited. So here I am out on a rainy day in downtown Atlanta rocking that pinstripe suit and as you guys can see my suit is protected by that trench coat and one thing that I want to point out here is that you do not want to wear a trench coat that is super fitted or else you won't be able to layer it over a suit or with thicker fabrics. So this specific trench coat that I'm wearing right now is not too baggy but at the same time it's not super form fitting. And another thing is, notice that the sleeves are slightly longer and I purposely, you know, leave them like that because I wanted to cover, you know, my watch and also, you know, the cuff on my suit jacket and shirt. No wasting time in this video. So moving on to the next outfit, we're toning the formality down just a notch by going business casual. Here. I'm rocking a knitted sports jacket with a button-up shirt and a pair of my favorite traveler jeans from Banana Republic and I decided to go with Chelsea boots on this outfit. It was still very cold and rainy in Atlanta so I had to throw on a trench coat again and also enjoy these upcoming professional shots for this outfit and I want to give a huge huge thank you to John from 40 over fashion for taking these during the influential conference if you don't know John, I mean, the name says it all, 40 over fashion, he just covers everything, you know, for the older man, you know, when it comes to grooming and style. He's doing big things, he's growing super fast, so huge shout out to John. So for the next outfit, I decided to lose a sports jacket and just substitute it with the trench coat. This is just a very clean and elegant look. You know, it's, it's like I said before, it's just very simple and it just, this whole double-breasted trench coat, like, it just adds a level of sophistication to, to the whole outfit. Next is a final outfit and it's the most casual outfit of them all. As you guys can see here, I decided to, you know, just keep it very casual here with, you know, just a basic crew neck sweater with a pair of black denim and a pair of some very comfortable fashion sneakers, these retro Pumas. And then I threw on, you know, that trench coat over and you could, you could really go much more casual than this if you like to. You could even go as far as like, like a t-shirt and jeans, but I just wanted to show that anybody can wear this trench coat. You don't have to wear like a whole three piece suit or a sports jacket in order to wear the trench coat. Now, since the trench coat is supposed to fit a tad bit bigger in order for you to layer over, you know, a suit or with thicker, you know, warmer fabrics, one of the downsides is that it can be a little too boxy at first and there's a way to get around this and that is just by simply adjusting the belt. One way, it's the most simplest and most classic way to do this is by simply, you know, adjusting and closing the belt fully. This is actually going to give you, you know, that tapered look around the waist. And another way that I like to do it is, you know, just by like pulling and tying a knot, you know, behind the trench coat. And it's still going to create that tapered look, but 
this is just my preference on wearing it and yeah it's just very it just makes it much more simpler to you know open and close the jacket and then just put it away and another way that you can do this is if you don't feel like adjusting the whole belt you could also just you know grab the belt and just give it a quick knot in the front boom there you guys have it you have that taper look as you guys can see you know see that just keep it you know nice and tight and yeah just make sure not to you know suffocate yourself so i covered the general guidelines of the trench coat when it comes to the fit and overall purpose of wearing one as well as sharing a few outfit ideas with you but before i let you go there is one thing that i really want you to keep in mind when you are out shopping for one so remember that i said that the trench coat is a stylish and functional piece well make sure it's functional when I say functional, I mean it being, you know, waterproof, able to repel water, protect, you know, the clothing that you're wearing under. And, you know, a good example is a lot of fast fashion stores sell coats that look like this. They have the aesthetic of a trench coat, but don't necessarily function as one. That is one key thing I want you to keep in mind when you're out shopping for one. I have, you know, done a little research and I did, you know, compile a list of the cheapest trench coats that are on sale that are actually waterproof all the way down to the most expensive. I believe the cheapest one that I could find was at ASOS and it's on sale for 60 bucks, so not a bad deal. This one right now that I'm currently wearing is from Banana Republic. It has water repellent technology. It has like this down leather, down leather, down lining. It has some crazy technology. It was pretty pricey, I admit. But yeah, just do your research and you know, of course, shop the sales. Guys, that wraps up today's video. Thank you guys for watching once again. And if you got something out of this video, please make sure to give me a like. It really goes a long way. It, re it really tells me that you guys are enjoying this video. And yeah, guys, so stay tuned for the next video. Peace.